Good evening. Back for a stream. Sucks blocking the A's, but what are we? What can we do? This player might actually lay the ball. Gambler 9225. I think you just not great though. I'm calling the size, but this is a weird spot. I didn't actually know this before, but now that I notice that this player is buying in short, that line and, and that both Kelly Vaughn's fault line, I think it's probably safe to say it's probably recreation. I honestly didn't know. That actually changes everything, because then I'm for sure calling River. River, isn't it? Let's just quickly switch this to you. I'm sorry. This checks to me. I think we got a bet. I don't know. You should ask uh, Anti GTO that question. He has some thoughts. More thoughts than I do, that's for sure. Heat check. Is that the same heat check that's been around for a while? So it's been a while. I don't know about this. I guess it works. Maybe I am here.
I am not sure what to do in this turn. I'm just thinking. Donks. Like, this is what I mean. This player is just button clicker. Obviously, zero clue what he's doing. Obviously, calling. I feel like we got a jam, but it's just like. Very weird line. Nice. I wonder if it's better just to call and they're so sure if it does. No eight. I mean, we actually pretty much just made that back. Squeezed. Flush comes in there too. Hmm. Let's think about this. I don't think uh, they should actually have that many secret hits, but it's kind of tough to say. These are probably a little kind of wide. Because hmm. when I squeeze, I feel like, myself included, um, I call too much as the this person in the squeeze spot, whatever you call it, like the sandwich. As a result, I actually think maybe betting turn might be better. It's up to say, like, we're just guessing at this point because we know this player's the rec who's at the pot, so he's going to be calling wider to play a pot with this player, right? Well, I was worried about that. Card up for a small blind, I think we just call. Gonna call again versus this player. Well, we all are some ace king and king jack, supposed to four bad. Maybe ace, you know, this ace jack as well, potentially. So, low raw. Yeah, 
it's a little bit of a rough session here. Um, there's a couple of weird ones like this one, I think, in retrospect. Um, again, we kind of went over this. Uh, so when uh, EP raises here and I squeeze, ace, like hands like this, like ace 10, maybe even ace jack suit, it probably isn't actually a call. But myself included, I think we overcall versus the squeeze. And also this player was the was the big recreation of the table. So it's more likely that they're going to overcall as well. So uh, yeah, but actually on the turn, like I think, you know, based on those assumptions, if the ranges are you know, somewhat close to equilibrium and not as wide as they probably would be thinking that the, uh, a whale could potentially be in the pot, um, maybe we could even bet turn and, and maybe like small bet turn, small bet river kind of thing. Instead, I went for the uh, bet check bet, which maybe again I could even went bigger. And then when they raise, I mean, I can I can visualize bluffs like you know pairs with the club sounds sounds easy. The fact that I checked that turn uh, is a little bit suspicious, so I can see why people might want to attack that. So I don't hate the call. But if if the ranges are wide as wide as I had thought, uh, or you know retrospect kind of think because of the recreations here, I actually like this fold. I think. This one I think might be a little bit ambitious on the river, but obviously bluff and turn and make are standard. But I uh, hope everyone has a good rest of the night. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Thanks everyone for tuning in. And uh, yeah, until next time, good luck at the tables.